So I'm at Seeker, I'm at their headquarters in Ulster. I'm here to talk to Mike Fleming about some of the machining demonstrations that are going to be happening at their Inspiration Through Innovation event, which is on October the 9th and October the 10th. Uh, Mike, it must be, well, it's a fantastic event. It really has some traction these days. In fact, in its fifth year. Mm. Uh, if you're a machine tool supplier, you must really want to get involved in this, don't you? Absolutely, I, I think so. And you know, we've seen that in the amount of uh, partners that are wanting to be involved in our event. In fact, uh, we do actually have a waiting list because we are constrained by the capacity of our environment. So tell us about some of the machines that are going to be on show this year. I mean, you've got your own machines, which Absolutely. you've got behind us here. Yes. Uh, yeah. may, maybe start with those. And we've got yes. the Hermes. So we've got the four Hermes, which are normally production machines, but this year uh, we are giving them over to the event. So we're putting on um, machining demonstrations on each of the four Hermes machines we have in our production. We also have a, a Mazak on site, which we're also turning over to the event, and also um, the uh, DMG. So over and above that as well, you've got, I believe, nine machine tools being, coming in here in the next few weeks in yes. anticipation, ready for the show. Yes. What are some of those? Because there's even some launches in there. In fact, I, I'll start by saying the Romy D800 V5, that's coming in, We're brand new machine. Very excited about that. So it's been launched in the UK. I believe it's in the showroom now in uh, Romy's um, facility, but the first time it'll be machining will be here at the event, so we're very excited about that. Uh, we also have a, the, the Doosan machine, the NHP, Absolutely. horizontal machining Absolutely. centre. That'll be the first time that this that machine has been seen here Definitely as well. Definitely will be, will be. Absolutely. Yeah. And, and tell us about some of the machining demonstrations that are happening, because this isn't just about coming here and bringing, bringing any component, is no. it? There has to be a bit of a theme here. Absolutely. So this, this is to me the exciting part. This is putting machining at the heart of innovation. So part of the criteria being in this event is that we're cutting metal. So all 16 machining demonstrations will be cutting metal. But it's also about collaboration. It's about the machining environment and all the actors within that environment coming together and collaborating. So from machine tool, work holding, cutting tools, fixturing and so forth, all coming together and contributing to the machining process to give a, a best practice solution for machining customer components. It is definitely the, the place to come and, and what I also like about the machines that you're bringing in from uh, call it third parties is they're very different styles of machines. We yes. mentioned the Doosan um, twin pallet horizontal. We also have the new Matsura um, uh, MX520 four pallet machine. Yes. So that's bringing automation Absolutely. into the arena as well, isn't it? Absolutely. Um, and, and that's a very popular machine and has proved popular and will be a good uh, view here. There's also the Willamette McConnell machine, which is yes for very intricate part machining mill part turn. Machining. Absolutely. So you have a really good spread of machines as Absolutely. well. Uh, you know, and I want to make sure I don't miss any for the viewers because really there is a lot to see. Uh, the Grob machine as well, yes, something a little bit different. Mm -hmm. um, so from your opinion here, uh, that, that has to be a real draw, doesn't it, for engineers yes. to come here to oh. see those different machine tool types. Absolutely, and also what, they, what we do with those machine tools, because as I say, it's about the customer component. It's not about showing off the different axes of the machine or the different capacities, it's about actually focusing on the customer and making components here, machining during the event, to the best solution. And you've also got the fanet here, that's doing something a little bit different, the robo drill. Absolutely, it? it's a bit unusual, it's not your typical uh, metal cutting component, it's actually a polo riding helmet. It's carbon fibre on the outside and the inside of the helmet with a, an aluminium sandwich, a honeycomb sandwich, and using that, that uh, robotic arm we're able to trim those uh, composite materials, so a little bit unusual, but, but quite interesting in, in itself. So it really is an event you must attend. It's inspiration through innovation, happening here on October the 9th and the 10th. On October the 9th, uh, the doors are open late, I believe, as well, That's aren't they? That's right, there's a late evening. Everybody's welcome. We'll have some beer and we have some food going, and it's a good networking environment for us. Yeah, so if you're interested in innovation, machine tools, strategies, uh, and over above, uh, over and above that, working as maybe a team and, and a collaborative effort or seeing a collaborative effort in action, you should uh, certainly register for the event and come on October the 9th or 10th. Thank you very much, Mike. Thank you, Paul. Thank you.